For Bassanio and Graziano and Antonio and. We should hold day with the antipodes. She was walking absent of the sun. Let me give light, let me be not light. For a light wife does make a heavy husband. And never be Bassanio so for me. But God for all, you are welcome home, my lord. I thank you, madam. Give welcome to my friend. This is a man. This is Antonio, to whom I am so infinitely bound. You should in all sense be bound to him. For as I hear, he was much bound for you. None that I am well acquitted of. Sir, you are very welcome to our house. It must appear in ways other than words. Therefore I stand this breathing curtain. I swear in faith that you do me wrong. I gave it to the judge's clerk. A quarrel? Oh, already? What's the matter? I had a hoop of gold, a paltry ring she had given me. Suppose you must love me and leave me not. What talk you of the pose here of the valley? You swore to me when I did give it to you that you would wear it until your hour of death, and that it should lie in the grave of you. Though not for me, yet for your vehement pose. You should have inspected and kept it. Give it to a judge's clerk? No. God's my judge. The clerk will ne'er wear hair on the face that had it. He will, and if he was to be a man. I a woman looks to be a man. Now, by this hand, I gave it to a youth, no higher than thyself, the judge's clerk. I could not from my heart deny it him. You were slain, I must be pleased with you. Part so slightly with your wife's first hand. I gave my love a ring, and made him swear to keep it. And he would not leave it, nor pluck it from his finger, for all the wealth the world masters. Now, in faith, Rusty, you give your wife too unkind a cause of grief, and it will be. I should be bad at it. Why, I were best to cut my left hand off and swear I lost the ring defending it. <laughs> my lord Antonio gave the ring away. To the judge that begged it, and his deed deserved it too. The boy, the clerk, he begged mine, and that neither the man nor master would take aught of the two. What ring gave you, my lord? Not that I hope that you received as me. If I could add a lie unto a fault, I would deny it, but as you see, my finger hath not been in the fault. It is gone. Even so, void is your false heart and grief. By heaven, I'll ne'er come into your bed until I see the ring. Nor I yours until I again see mine. Of course, if you did know to whom I gave the ring, if you did know for whom I gave the ring, you would conceive for what I gave the ring, and tell him willingly I left the ring, and that would be accepted by the ring, you would obey this thing in this place. If you had known the virtue of the ring, you would not then have parted with it. What man is there, so much unreasonable, if you had pleased to defend it with any terms of wanted the modesty to urge the thing held as a ceremony. Nerissa teaches me what to do. I'll die for it, but a woman had the ring. No, by my honor, madam, by my soul, no woman had it. But, says his clerk, which did refuse three thousand ducats of me, and begged the ring, to which I did deny him, suffered him to go to his away, even he that did have told me my dear. Did I say, sweet I was enforced to send it after him. I was beset with shame and courtesy. My honor would not let him gratitude so much to smear it. Forgive me, sweet lady, for by these blessed candles of the night, had you been there, I think you would have begged the ring of me to give the word of God. Let not that doctor ever come near my house. He hath got the jewel I love, and that which you did swear to keep for me. I will become as liberal as you. I'll not deny him anything I have. No, not my body, nor my husband's bed. Now, I know him I shall, and by mine honor, which is yet mine own, I'll have that doctor for my bedfellow. <laughs> and I, his clerk, therefore be well advised how you do leave me to mine own protection. Well, you do so. Let me not take it, then. The 
if I do, I'll mar the young I am the unhappy subject of these quarrels. Her grief is not. You are welcome, notwithstanding. Sweet force of forgiveness, of course, is wrong. And the term of these many facts. Those words, even by thine own eyes, wherein I see myself. Mark you but that, in both my eyes he doubly sees myself, one in each eye, swear by your double self, and there's no confession. Nay, but hear me, pardon this fault, and by my soul I swear, I never more will break an oath. I did once lend my body for his will, which but for him that had your husband's ring, <coughs> had quite miscarried, I'd there be bound again, by soul upon the forfeit, that your lord will never break faith if I